dear viewers, hello and welcome to a new episode of our program Cultural Magazine during which we're going to bring you the latest cultural events that are taking place in Egypt, so stay tuned. <music> Minister of Culture Dr. Ines Abdidame inaugurates the activities of the annual International Festival of Drums and Traditional Arts in its ninth session at the Be'er Yusuf Theater at the Salahuddin Citadel. Tunisia is the guest of honor of the festival this year. The event is held under the auspices of the Ministry of Culture and in cooperation with the various sectors of the ministry as well as uh, several concerned cultural and tourism bodies. Festival activities include about 43 diverse bands and troops taking part in its activities. Festival participants are those who come to participate as part of uh, foreign cultural relations and some bands of foreign communities residing in Egypt to present the heritage of their countries. These come in addition to the Ministry of Culture's bands, the teams of the Ministry of Youth and Sports, and some independent Egyptian bands from Port Said, Sinai, Suez, and Alexandria. In this year's festival, the surprise of the ninth session is the return of the Moise Street to the Drumming Festival. All of the bands participating in the second day of the festival in Moise Street are wearing their traditional uniforms. The festival conveys a message of peace to the whole world. The participating bands are from Tunisia, India, Spain, South Sudan, Bangladesh, Yemen, Azerbaijan, Indonesia, Sudan, Pakistan, the Philippines, uh, Palestine, Mexico, Jordan, uh, Congo, and Egypt. In including the Rida Troupe and the National Folklore Band. come in addition to uh, participating honorary troops which are the Chinese, South Korean bands and an exhibition of traditional crafts and popular products is held by the Cultural Development Fund. The Cairo Opera House, headed by Dr. Magdi Sobir, is organizing an exhibition of plastic art entitled the Salah Tahir's Creations with Clear Eyes. This comes on the 111th anniversary of Salah Tahir, commemorating his art. Salah Tahir is considered one of the pioneering generations of artists of the abstract school, but he did not completely abandon the realistic one. And in many of his paintings and works, Salah Tahir tried to merge the two schools, which is the period of the so-called moderate abstraction. The exhibition is a merging and simulation of the masterpieces of the artists uh, Salah Tahir and Ayman Tahir with a group of their most important artworks along with selected pieces of artworks produced with a pure vision. 
The exhibition also includes some of the tools the artist Salah Toher used in his paintings. The great artist Toher was born on May 12, 1911 in Cairo in the Abbasaya neighborhood. He graduated from the Higher School of Fine Arts in 1934 and was the first in his class. He traveled in 1925 to study art in Europe. And in 1935, he resided in Upper Egypt's Minya and then moved to Cairo to work as a drawing teacher at Farouk I's school. He then was appointed as a teacher of oil painting at the Faculty of Arts. His actual participation in the artistic movement was the focus of the plastic art gathering in Egypt. He has held more than 80 local and international exhibitions since 1932 and participated in about 67 group exhibitions. An association was established by the engineer Yasser Sif in 1988 in his honor, and it is the first association to document Salah Toher's artworks. Salah Taher drew many portraits and continued to work on many of them until an advanced stage of his artistic career, despite the fact that portrait painting represents the embodiment of the spirit of the realistic school. He drew portraits of prominent figures such as the late President Gamal Abdel Nasser, legendary singer Umm Kalsoum, as well as many others. Opera House plays a significant role in the cultural movement that uh, is uh, taking place in Egypt. Cairo Opera Ballet Company, under the supervision of its artistic director, Armenia Kemel, presented the story of the Gypsy Carmen and blended tango with classism and modernity in two dazzling performances at the Cairo Opera House and accompanied by the Cairo Opera Orchestra, led by the great maestro Nayer Negi. Tango is different from Spanish. It looks like similar but it's completely different it's elegant it's not popular whether when you know the history of tango it's salon i mean dance the salon uh, in the old uh, uh, ballroom dance but the history history is coming from uh, bad houses actually and it has a bad reputation but because it's really nice it moves the success make it move to the cafe in the streets and then to the bars, and then went to the theater and cinema, the American movies. We can see all tango in American movies. And the last being taken uh, as a language of dance on the stage, ballet stage. And uh, it has a very elegant, and you have to be strong, but not nervous. You have to be strict and clear and clean, and you give the message just with the minimum of impression because it's very class and everything is counted on you when you just look, move. They have a w way to walk. They have a style to move. They have a less certain accent in their movement. When you catch it, you do it. And this is not easy. 
uh, first of all, the choreographer is Cuba, from Cuba. And he is a young man living in Italy. I think working in uh, big companies because he has a, he's still dancing, he's still a dancer. And he make for us three ballet. He make uh, tango and Carmen, which is uh, the same night, and Cleopatra. And I work participating with him in tango. And uh, actually this ballet is new. It's a contemporary classic dance. And every step is done on us. It's a new ballet for him too. Carmen, he did it before and he teaches us the steps. But tango, he make it on each one. So you watch you just like yes and see what could fit you as a personality, personality and as a movement and so on. So this dance is done for me on my own shape. It's an amazing feeling to dance with a live orchestra. Even I can tell them be quicker, slower. Uh, please repeat that when we are in the rehearsals. But a recorder is a recorder, it's fixed. So the music, the sound of music is different. The life, it's, you feel something really alive. It's like the music, a creature. And this creature is living, dancing with you, moving with you, it's yours. At this moment, it's done for you. So for sure, it's a beautiful meaning. I'm doing all. I do like to be Spanish. And I do like to be Le Giton, uh, Gypsy. And I do like to be Tango. And I do like to be Oriental. I mean, each role, it's international characters in the world. And I do like to be Jazz American. And I do like to be classical. I do like to be many things. This variety is really a pleasure for each uh, ballerina to show it, we have to be colored. If we are one color, it's boring. For me and for who watch me. The most is to be colored, but how to be colored? In art of dance, colored, it means you can be switched from a country to the other. And the people, when they saw you, they thought that you are really from Argentina tango. When they saw you Spanish, they thought that you are Spanish. And when they saw me in the soft oriental, they said, wow, she's oriental, but this, the one who did Oriental, she is the same one who make Spanish or, uh, or, or whatever, the type of dance. So this is really a pleasure to play in what you have. But you have to catch first and to discover what do you have. In this uh, version of tango, we have a big part for the violin, the solo of the violin. And we have a very good the first violin. There is a very long cadenza by violin that has to follow the dancer and has to follow the meaning of what uh, the music is expressing. So I find that in this performance, the most difficult is tango, because sometimes you cannot count. You, you just have to go with the wave of the music. And I have five couples that have to be 
be in synchron with the music and in the synchron with themselves. So uh, this uh, the, the rehearsals was really um, difficult for everybody. But uh, now I reach a moment when we are on stage. I was very satisfied. And now, of course, I choose uh, the dancers for the particular roles. I cannot choose uh, a lyric uh, dancer to make a Carmen, for example. So I choose a most uh, the stronger character to make Carmen. Michaela, that is more lyric. I have dancer that can make it at the best. So it's uh, even my my job to choose the casting to have uh, all the personage on stage in the right character. Uh, we five boys and five girls soloist. Uh, we do it something uh, new, classic, uh, free actor, free. Uh, we can do it uh, uh, four dancer and the four, four couple. We dance the first performance. It's uh, like uh, we know to each other and they joke and they play. And after we have a daju, uh, one boy and one girl to meet in this performance and the love story. And after we go trio two boys with one girl like uh, who will win her and take this girl to play and after we do it coda in this uh, tango we coda halas we lost uh, like uh, to enjoy to happy to what we do to do it something good to know each other to love to play her and it finish tango have many schools we cannot do like what they do because our kind of dance it's classic and modern and neoclassic and uh, we should do it like that way so this is the difference i think our steps more different i don't know maybe they they say the different but i don't know but uh, ballet it's the most different and difficult uh, dance ever ballet this is the basics basic is ballet
The Cairo Opera House is the cultural lighthouse of the Middle East. It presents serious arts and an address of Egypt's artistic and cultural identity, exporting a lofty image of our dear Egypt, on addition of exposing this nation to a diverse range of international arts. Shuru Bikir, Cultural Magazine. Egypt is always keen on preserving heritage as Egypt is the land of civilization where everything started. Among the Cairo Opera House nights on its different theatres, a concert for the Arabic Music Heritage Ensemble was held on the Arabic Music Institute Theatre, led by the great maestro Farouk Al-Babli. A number of distinguished stars participated in the concert, like Mohammed Shawqi, Mazen Deraz, Ahmed Al-Waziri, Noah Hafiz, Hasne, and An'aim Mustafa. National Ensemble for Arab Music is an Egyptian orchestra to revive the masterpieces of music and heritage. Founded in 1989 by Dr. Ratib Al-Hifni, Maestro Selim Sahab has led the troupe until now in the Egyptian Opera House. The troupe succeeded for three decades in drawing the attention and hearing of the masses for the original artistic values in the Arab music. I'm not 
The Institute of Arab Music was opened in 1922 during the reign of King Fuad I and was called the Royal Institute of the Arab Music. It was one of the most important musical centers in Egypt for teaching Arabic music and preserving heritage. The building of the old Institute of the Arab Music is a historical heritage place belonging to the Egyptian Opera House and the Institute houses the museum of the musician Muhammad Abdul Wahib and his personal belongings. It has a museum of ancient musical instruments that are distinguished by their beauty and ingenuity of design. Well, with this, my dear viewers, we come to the end of this episode of our program, Culture Magazine. I hope you've enjoyed being with me. Please wait for me in the next episode. Until then, it's goodbye.